Hello everyone. I haven't made one of these videos in a while. And, you know, I, that's mostly because I don't have anything particularly interesting to say, you know. Uh, I've spent more time playing uh, you know, Sim City and, uh, and, and recording the city building than, uh, than actually having anything worthwhile to say. Um, well, actually, most of what I have to say I put in my blog. Um, you know, I gasp, write things. Uh, who knew? Uh, anyway, uh, this time uh, I want to talk a bit about a, a situation that's been ongoing for the past month or so, uh, or a few weeks anyway, uh, between a couple of YouTubers. One is is known as Thunderfoot. Uh, that's with two zeros instead of O's. Uh, he's been on YouTube for a very long time. Uh, he puts up scientific uh, experimentation type videos, uh, things like that. Uh, he's uh, debunked the solar roadways guys, uh, along with the EEV blog guy who's done the same thing. Uh, he's demonstrated a pretty good knowledge of science, which is good because he's actually an experimental scientist. And that's cool. We need more people uh, doing the experimental science. That's how real things are learned. Uh, you know, so he's put up a bunch of videos about that, and that's actually how I stumbled across his channel. Uh, YouTube actually recommended a number of his scientific type videos, and I watched them, and I quite enjoyed that. It was uh, illuminating. Now, uh, he also serves as something of a counterpoint to some of this idiocy uh, that the uh, social justice warriors, which is the current nomenclature, I believe, uh, some of the idiocy that they're espousing all of the time. And also the theists and so on. He's, he's uh, essentially, he, he's kind of uh, anti-bullshit. Is, uh, is really uh, his stance, near as I can tell. So he has a number of videos on, uh, on that side of things as well, and some of them are, are quite fascinating when you, when you really think about it. Now, his style of presentation is a little bit um, mocking a, a lot of the time, uh, but it's not really over the line. Uh, He'll take excerpts from, uh, from his uh, Target's uh, videos uh, and he'll make commentary and he'll put those excerpts in at opportune moments. It's typical, uh, typically the way you do parody. So he's not really doing anything that's uh, over any lines. Um, personally, I'm not sold on that as the best way to do it, but it's his style and it's not particularly offensive uh, if you understand it for what it is. Uh, he's taken on uh, such luminaries as Anna Sarkeesian uh, recently. Uh, I believe uh, Sarkeesian is the Gamergate type, uh, which uh, is a bunch of idiocy near as I can tell. They may have a valid point or two in there somewhere, but... Eh, I haven't seen any real evidence uh, to make to back up their point. Uh, but the most recent uh, salvo between Thunderfoot and a YouTuber has has been has involved uh, a woman calling herself Laughing Witch. Now. Laughing Witch uh, seems to be a disciple of, of Anna Sarkeesian, or at least uh, on that side of things. I'm not clear on the exact history. I haven't actually researched the specific history of what led to what's go going on. I don't have any particular interest in watching Laughing Witch's videos uh, based on the excerpts that I've seen. Uh, from Thunderfoot and others like Sargon of Akkad and uh, others. Now, it's, 
kind of sad, really, the situation. Thunderfoot does real work. So he's not on YouTube 24-7. Though he does have a large number of followers, and he does gain some amount of financial support from those followers. And that's cool. Uh, and it's important uh, in the following uh, discussion that he has that, because it changes the equation for him slightly. Now, what Laughing Witch did uh, is Thunderfoot basically demolished her. Uh, demolished her arguments, or demolished Sarkeesian's arguments, I can't remember which. And she didn't like it. So, instead of taking her lumps and making a rebuttal with some evidence on her side, or just going, okay, yeah, I was wrong, and chalking up to experience. No, what she does is she sends a letter to Thunderfoot's employer. His employer. And in it, she makes uh, some really uh, wacky allegations. Uh, if you want to know more about that, Thunderfoot has a video about that in which he actually has text from the letter. And she also is crowing in a video about how she sent a letter to her local uh, law enforcement and so on. And in that video... She points to her name. Well, yeah. Anyway, so she sent all this stuff, and uh, and shortly after that, because she has, you know, Thunderfoot's not on YouTube every, you know, three seconds or something like that. You know, he has real work to do. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, she's on there crowing about how Thunderfoot's been fired. He's lost his job. He's... All of that jazz. Cue a video from Thunderfoot, which is the first I heard of this, how he's surprised to learn from YouTube that he's been fired, you know? And he goes on to expose the letter and what's actually going on, and it's <laughs> kind of sad, really. But the real sad part is the fact that this tactic would work for most People. It would work against most people. Employers might be terrified of the bad press. Uh, the employee might be terrified of losing their job. So everybody straightens up, right? Uh, you know, to the in, and toes the line uh, that the bully wants. And that's what Laughing Witch was doing. She was trying to bully Thunderfoot into retracting his uh, videos or something like that which he didn't do. He didn't get fired either. Uh, but he went on to say that because he derives a substantial uh, amount of support from uh, his YouTube videos, if he had been fired, it wouldn't have made much of a difference to him. In fact, what it would have done is meant he had more time to make YouTube videos. And, yeah, that's going to do Laughing Witch a lot of good, isn't it? Because now he's going to have more time to research the stuff and actually demolish her arguments even more effectively. Not so good for Laughing Witch. Now, this could have ended here. You know, Thunderfoot wouldn't have pursued it any further. But then, apparently, some people on YouTube... Uh, just noticed that her information was there and they actually found her company. They found its Yelp page. They found that she was shilling for her company, posting fake reviews. Yeah, that's not so good. Then, she, uh, she starts putting up videos about how the legions, have, you know, have violated her privacy by sharing this information, which she herself shared in the first place. Uh, she actually filed privacy complaints against Thunderfoot, which, yeah, not so much. Uh, he was sharing publish information that she herself had shared previously. So YouTube actually, you know, dismissed those complaints because 
Well, there was nothing to complain about, no violations of privacy or policy or anything like that. Uh, yeah, so you got that. And of course, she couldn't leave well enough alone, so she keeps poking at it, posting video after video after video after video, and of course Thunderfoot's working, so he's not, not having the time to re rebut everything. But then others start digging into her claims and her allegations, her her past, her videos, her her company, her life, and demolishing it. In fact, she claimed in one video that she was forced to delete her YouTube channel uh, because of Thunderfoot's minions, except that she deleted it herself. And you gotta wonder, you know, that's hardly forcing anything. She deleted it herself. And she's got a channel back up now. So, you know, really, she clearly wasn't forced off YouTube now, was she? Um, now, uh, the fun thing, it turns out that her troubles date back before the exchange with Thunderfoot. There are court records that are publicly available that show a judgment against her company. Into the tune of something like $25,000. Ah, it's real money for a small company. Uh, but it turns out that they've got a fund anything campaign or whatever it is up with a target of exactly that amount. But this is supposed to, you know, pay you to defend against Thunderfoot's minions. Eh, that doesn't hold water really, does it? This actually looks like now she's taking the situation with Thunderfoot and attempting to use it to uh, derive some gain now. Uh, I, I don't think that was her intent in the initial salvo. Uh, she just recognized, or maybe her husband did, we don't know, uh, recognized that there was a chance to cash in on the 15 minutes of fame. And maybe it'll pay off for them. I don't know. There's enough idiots out there that will uh, take her side on it without doing any research. Uh, so it might pay off for her. Uh, but really, uh, her behavior has been, well, I'm, I'm not sure that psychopathic is right, but she's certainly not all there. Uh, Thunderfoot has been fairly calm in all of this. He hasn't, uh, he hasn't advocated for any, uh, any lynch mobs or anything like that. He hasn't. I've watched his videos. He hasn't advocated for any of that. So, uh, it's, interesting that she keeps alleging that he has done things like that. She's even stooping to using terms like cyber terrorism now. And, you know, that doesn't really apply if you actually look up the real definition. So, huh. But this is the sort of thing that we see with the social justice warriors and so on, the, the professional victims and so on. Uh, we see this type of behavior quite a lot. Not usually to the magnitude that Laughing Witch has taken it. That's just... She should get an award for that, I think. <laughs> like, really, it's, it's impressive. Uh, but... Uh, <laughs> when you get down to it... Uh, this is the sort of thing you see. You see quite often, you, you know, there, there's, uh, you, you see this type of thing in, in any kind of ideological debate um, or opposing monologue or, or whatever, but it's particularly bad in the social justice warrior camp, the politically correct camp, the, and it's particularly fine in the theism camp uh, where, you know, it's, but like, really, uh, it's I just I just don't get it. You know, I, I really don't get the mindset that these people have. I I, I don't. Uh, 
I've watched Thunderfoot's videos. As I said, I don't necessarily agree with exactly how he presents these things. Uh, it's uh, maybe a little bit out there, maybe a little bit disrespectful. I, you know, but you know what? We don't have an inalienable right to not be disrespected. Respect is not a right. Uh, at least not in my country, uh, in Canada, and it's certainly not a right in the United States. There is also no right to not be offended. Uh, although, if you let the SJWs have their way, that'll be enshrined in law at some point, and, you know, that's going to be a, a... Well, you can imagine where that will go. Now, I've also watched some of Laughing Witch's videos. And, yeah, you know, they're, they're kind of incoherent some of the time. But when you listen to what she's actually saying, and she doesn't provide any actual evidence for what she says. She just makes, she's using evidence through assertion or something like that. I don't, I don't know what proof through assertion. It's definitely not valid in any kind of a debate, but that's what she's doing. And it's, uh, if you actually listen to what she's saying and think about it critically, you understand that she's been truly demolished by Thunderfoot and others of like mind. And you got to wonder about the state of humanity when that sort of thing so easily uh, dupes such a large number of people. <sighs> I seriously despair for humanity. <sighs> We're doomed.